Hello golfers, just going to show you a quick capture from a lesson we had earlier um, from a gent travelled over to us from London, um, saw that we offer the gears putting. Um, so do you know what I mean? Obviously wanted to have a go, have a look at his putting in a way that in a way that he hasn't seen it before. Um, so interview process beforehand, uh, obviously told us that he was um, struggling a lot with speed control, hitting them short a lot, not quite getting there on his lag putts, not quite getting inside his scoring zone enough where he can where he can consistently two putt on the longer putts. Um, but also not making enough sort of from, from the 10 foot type of range. So when I hear stuff like that and when I hear distance control, one of the things I like to have a look at is the skid factor uh, and the speed drop of a ball. So got him on the trap man putting initially, found out that the speed drop was too high. So he's losing a lot of speed in the golf ball. And we found out the leading cause of that was because he's launching the ball, launching the ball too high. Uh, sorry, launching the ball not high enough, launching the ball too low. Um, which is essentially leading the ball to skid for too long, so he's losing out on speed, it's going to be inconsistent. So took him down to the swing room to have a look on the, on the Gears Golf, got him suited up, and what we identified, what you can see on the, on the captures now, is that his shoulder line is actually pretty square and pretty level, which is good. Um, we don't mind having the right shoulder sitting a little bit lower. Obviously, most people tend to grip in a conventional way with the, with the lead hand at the top and the trail hand on the bottom, which is gonna make the, the trail shoulder uh, sit a little bit lower. Uh, however, what we can see is that his hip line, his knee line, and his feet line are all working down towards the ground. Um, so pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good up idea as to where that downwards blow is coming from, why he's got a negative launch angle, uh, negative attack angle as well. So what we see when we see that is obviously putter working down towards the ball far too much, uh, low point after the ball, which is obviously putting, putting a lot of spin on the ball, which is causing the ball to then skid across the putting surface, just meaning that he's not going to be able to, to control the speed effectively and consistently. So just tweaked his setup, got his hips, knees and feet sitting a lot more level, uh, keeping his shoulder line. Obviously to do that, his, his shoulder line was tipping a little bit there, played about with a little bit, trying to, of trying to feel the shoulder line stayed level whilst, the, whilst everything else on the, on the lead side felt higher. Um, but got him to a, to a very good place. Uh, didn't really touch his putting stroke in the initial stage in what we're going to talk about in this video. This was, do you know what I mean, the the sort of the first hour of the lesson was just playing about with this setup. Uh, didn't touch his putting stroke and what we actually saw is that it, it, it gave a, a consist, uh, significant increase uh, in his attack angle and a significant difference into how he's actually rolling the putt. So goes from hitting downwards on the ball in his attack angle to actually hitting a couple of degrees up, which is fantastic. Then got him back on the track man, come back down here to the putting studio, got him back on the track man, uh, saw that his speed drop had increased, so he's not losing as much speed in the ball. His ball speed and then his roll speed are a lot closer together, uh, and his skid factor went down a lot as well. Uh, so this is something he's gonna go away and play with uh, and hopefully start holding more putts.